and welcome to Reading with Ra. My name is Mara. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell button, and give me some hearts. Today we are reading Near Mayhem versus the Might Robot. Big time. Outside the pits, I changed back into my regular clothing. Thanks goodness, they didn't smell bad. I decided it was time to go back to Eddie's house. He always knows how to make me feel better when I was having a bad day. I also wanted to see how things were going with Junior, his newest robot helper. When I got to his house, Eddie was still in a excitedly the same spot. If I hadn't know, known better, I'd think he hadn't moved the whole time. I was gone. I was gone. Eddie was still busy working on the, the arm that I had pulled off. Junior sat still as the final tweaks were made. Looks great, I said. I plopped into Eddie's beanbag chair. His dog, Pat, was curled up next to it. I searched his, scratched his ears as I nuzzled against, as he nuzzled against me. Welcome back. How was class, Eddie asked. Comment down below if you hear rhyming words. I groaned and told him every single thing that went wrong. I was probably the worst superhero in the history of superheroes. When I was done, he looked at me and said, Well, you know at least your shoe was is back to normal, and you didn't mess anything up for good. Everything takes time and practice. I mean, look at me. I've been fixing little things in Junior all day, and I build robots all the time. Comment down below if you know what she's going to learn in this book. So what I see what I mean? Eddie had the powers to always cheer me up. Thanks, Eddie, I said, giving him a smile. And a, how about you? Are you almost finished? I think so, he replied. He's already been helping me clean up today. Watch. He pushed a few buttons on his remote, and there were a few beeps, and the lights blinked, and an instant junior came to life. He quick, qu quickly spotted a sock on the floor, walked over to it, picked it up, and tossed it into the laundry hamper. Beep, bop, beep, beep. Pretty cool, huh? But he wasn't done yet. Junior walked over to my bag, turned it over, and shook it all out until every last thing fell out. Including 
my smelly super suit and my new size O metric disc. I watched in horror as the maximizer the maximizer bounced hard off the floor and slammed di directly into Junior. Link, no! Who grew and grew and grew. Beep. Uh-oh, I said as I looked up to the ceiling. We have a very big problem. Comment down below if you know what's going to happen next. Chapter 6. Through the window. Everything happened really fast. After that, Junior had sank out the, my bag and my stuff was everywhere. I had no clue where my disc were. Disc were. I had to come up with a plan and fast. I grabbed the stinky suit a quick changed into my Mia Mayhem. Comment down below if you think it's clean now. Junior was still growing and and there was only one thing I could do get him out the house if I didn't, he was going to destroy the place from the out, from the inside. I flew up, picked him up over the head, uh, and was halfway to the window when suddenly we heard a voice in the hallway. It was Eddie's mom. Comment down below if you think Eddie's mom will see her. Hey kids, she called everything okay in there? Um, yeah mom, Eddie called back. Everything is totally cool and not going wrong in any way. Just doing some of the usual inventing stuff up here. Yes, we're okay, Miss Stein. I said trying not to sound like I was holding an expecting robot. There was a pause and we held our breath. Then she said, okay, have fun, dears. That was a close one. Eddie pushed the window open and I flew out just in time. If we weren't even a second late, Junior would have gotten stuck. But now what? Comment down below if you know what she's about to say. I hovered outside the window as Eddie checked to make sure his mom was still downstairs. All the while, Junior just kept growing, but thanks to my super strength, I was, it, it wasn't hard to carry him. Comment down below if you know what's going to happen. Is he going to do anything to her? Beep! But I had no idea what to do with him. And even at the at a school like the pit, 
They didn't teach you how you what to do with a giant robot. Hey, Eddie, I called through the window. I need to get him somewhere away from people. He nodded in agreement. Junior's got a tracker on him he so he can follow you on my brake on my bike. Comment down below if you think he's going to do anything once she puts him down. Then off I went carrying Junior through the air. And here's a little secret just between you and me. I was a superhero. I was a superhero. I could fly and I had amazing super strength. And together I knew Eddie and I would figure things out. Even if I didn't know how. But trust me, in that moment, I was way more scared than I wanted to admit. Chapter 7 and 8, we will be reading tomorrow. Chapter 7 is Help Mod. I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, Hit the bell button and give me some hearts.